So I've got an environment, very high IOPS requirements. Somebody made the decision to run this on SATA drives, which base, let's face it, don't have the IOPS capabilities that were required for the environment. So what happens? My storage processor identifies the hot blocks on these LUNs and keeps all of this data in cache. So as the you know the the the, the transactions are coming in, the I/O is coming in, everything is being written to the cache, right? And the disks are simply not fast enough for the storage processor to unload this data onto the disks in a timely fashion and allow new data to come into the cache. So what, what you'll see is, um, or, or a key performance indicator to look at here, is the percent of dirty pages on your storage processor. So what does that mean? Dirty pages basically means it's uh, pages of cache that have not yet been written to disk, right? So this number has a, a high and low watermark between 60 and 80 percent. So what you'll see in your performance graphs is your, your cache utilization will have peaks and valleys that will stay between 60 and 80 percent. This is an indication of healthy cache utilization. What's happening here is your SP cache is hitting the 80 percent mark and it's saying, okay, I need to start dumping data off to disks and it brings it back down to 60 percent and it works its way back up and forth. This is very healthy. This is the way it's designed to work. In a situation where you have very high cache utilization, your percent dirty pages will climb up to 100 percent and it'll flatline and it'll stay like that and it won't move. So in this situation what will happen is, is basically the, the array is not able to flush the data into to disk fast enough. So at this point, you, you're in dangerous waters because you're looking at what is called forced flushing. So when the array sees that I'm at 100% dirty pages for over a certain amount of time, it will initiate a process called forced flushing. During forced flushing, the array is basically saying, I am not taking any more I.O. into my cache until I can dump what is currently existing in the cache to disk. So any additional I.O. coming to the array no longer has the ability to use the write cache. It's going directly to the RAID group or the storage pool where the LUN resides. And so to, to, to add to, to this metaphor, during the, the, the time of forced flushing, right, the, the, the F-150 is no longer even being able to be used. So now the rocks are going straight from the quarry into the dump truck which can be a very slow process. They can't use the F-150 until it's completely empty.